It's a song for a BC fight back. The police sprayed pepper in my eye. Oh, damn, that really burned. They tried to arrest a homeless guy, and we made them have to work. We challenged the cops and those other jocks, and we spit on the corporate dirt. We're organized and well despised. We're going to make your economy hurt. Whenever I go to Victoria, I get pepper sprayed. Warn the poor, violent cops, HR worker calls me up. Then they cut me off the welfare. They cut me off the welfare. BC was built on genocide to form this racist nation. The land was bold both far and wide, but the rich think it's their playground. They logged it clear for profit, but the companies took the check. Our sacred lands are torn up, they all go to the fucking US. Seasonal work survivor, I was a fisherman, I was a logger. Who warned the poor, the violent cops, HR worker calls me up, then they cut me off of welfare. They cut me off of welfare. Hey students, hey homeless, hey sovereign indigenous nations. The government is fucking corrupt. The laws are corrupt. The laws are I'm sorry? It's a community event. It's a community rally. There's no one in charge. Um, it's a community rally. Why are you asking? It's we're not the anti-vaxxers. Look at our signs. Yeah, well, just so you know. <laughs> we're going to use the building we have for 20 years, and if it's a problem, I'm sorry, we're, we, we have a legal right to be here as citizens of Canada on a, at a provincial building. We've done this for years and uh, we're doing it today. That's why this is here and the steps are here and there's benches here. Can you keep please setting up? Thank you. Thank you for the warning, really appreciate it. What's your name? I'm sorry, excuse me, who are you? Violent cops, HR worker calls me up, then they cut me off of welfare. They cut me off of welfare. Hey students, hey homeless, hey sovereign indigenous nations. The government is fucking corrupt and the laws aren't made to protect them. The laws aren't made to protect them. I'm homeless, I know it. Good, how are you? Good, thanks. Um, who's kind of in charge today? Leaderless, decentralized, we're just here to talk about disability and homelessness. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then what, what's the kind of timeline you guys are looking at? We're finished at four. At four? Yeah. Okay, so today it's about disability and homelessness in yes. Victoria or the province? Victoria. Victoria. Local. I spoke about the fighting sun peaks, there's lots of inspiring fights. The police try to characterize us as terrorists. Warn the poor, violent cops. HR worker calls me up, then they cut me off of welfare. They cut me off of welfare. Disabled, single mothers, hate you all who's ever hunger. I beg the poor to unite and fight the government. Okay, and then, the government stays. Out of here for Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mind if I grab your name to say I spoke to you? Sure. Am I what was your last name? Sorry? You know what I mean. BC was the best And can I grab your date of birth? Why are you asking me? Just so I can add your name in the file. I'm not I'm not comfortable with other information. That's totally fine. Thank you. Um all right, so there's not really a leader today. You guys are just here together. Yeah, we're just here talking about our experiences. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, He's the guest speaker from TV7 on the phone. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I guess the uh, the management in this building are hoping that you guys can stay off the property just for liability okay. reasons and whatnot. Um, if you guys are 
heading out at four. Yeah. There's a chance that they'd, they'd what's, be okay. Uh, what, what, what are the lines that are defined for their property? Um, I wouldn't want to guess the exact lines. I'm, we'd have to talk to the city about okay. that, but um, yeah. I don't know. I think they're concerned about someone falling off here. Oh, liability. Yeah. Anyways, we'll touch base with them again. Yeah, touch base with our supervisors. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You guys are. They all are sovereign nations. The government is fighting corrupt and the laws are made to protect them. Disabled, single mothers, they all have ever hungered. I beg the Lord, I am a fight. It's a song for a beast. You know, maybe you can just live in a, in a place, share, uh, share a pad for maybe a week, two weeks. Oh, well, that's not good enough because the ministry expects you to have a fixed address. These callbacks, nobody should have callbacks. If you have earned income from other sources, should you not be allowed to have it? That's right. Yeah. Oh, yes. Housing is a human right. And Canada signed on to uh, the CRPD way back, I mean, you're talking maybe 12 years ago now? We live in a very, very wealthy country, right? The richest country in the world. That's right. So we need to stop any kind of clawbacks, discrimination, income inequality, stop homelessness, stop poverty, and we can make things a better way in Canada. Thank you very much, everyone, for having me today. Um, yeah, this has been a pleasure. And thank you so much, Britt. You can find Brent Weatherman on uh, Twitter. And can someone take uh, Faye's place for just a few moments? Because we're going to invite Faye up here to end our rally. Yeah, go ahead, Faye. And put it right up to your mouth. I cleaned it all up. Hello. So, uh, yeah, well, we'll be in touch. Peace out, brother. Yeah, man. Okay, this is Faye here. Okay. Hello. Um, and like a rock star right in yeah. there, right okay. on. Okay, just want to talk about the, as you mentioned, the clawbacks. Um, there are probably close to 250,000 seniors in Canada now who have had their guaranteed annual income supplement clawed back because they reported uh, receiving the CRB or the CERB money earlier. But, and they calculate their income on the previous year and take no notice whatsoever of what's happening now. I wound up with less than money coming in than I ran. So how much was clawed back from you? Oh, um, well my whole the supplement, which was about $700 a month. And not unusual, and quite typical others are in even more precarious rates than I am. The way they had the whole thing set up, it's they're waiting for enough people to die during the while they wait so that they come out ahead. We need oxygen. We need water. And we need shelter. That's right. Anyone in any culture that tries to pretend that this is just a right that can be taken away and denied are wishing their way past an, an incipient revolution. Because if people don't get what they need long enough, They'll take what they need, or relocate, whatever it takes, to change the situation in which they're dying. Thank you. Come on, man. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So I want to just thank everybody for being here today. Thank my sister for opening up. We're trying to wrap up right at 4, because we have a, a Bear Henry Zoom uh, call that the matriarchs organized for Bear, who's still missing. And we also have the very creep block, uh, very creep people who are walking around now, and some people want to join some them. Some HR worker calls me up, then they cut me off the of welfare. They cut me off the of welfare. Disabled, single mothers, hate you all who's ever hungered. I beg the poor to unite and fight. Warn the poor, violent cops. HR worker calls me up, then they cut me off a of welfare. They cut me off a of welfare. Hey students, hey homeless, hey sovereign indigenous nations. The government is fucking corrupt, and the laws aren't made to protect them. The laws aren't made to protect them.